Welcome back to the Sunday Fix at Karis Green. Are you one of these golfers who are good with a wedge at 9 iron, 8 iron, 7 iron, but really struggle when you get to 5 irons, 4 irons and 3 irons? So in our community that we're building here, we've had a message from Paul Lockett, who struggles with his long irons and his hybrids. So our Sunday Fix today is to show you the reasons why you hit these things fat and how to hit them better. So, one of, the most, one of the first reasons we hit it fat is the ball position gets too far forward in the stance. The low point of your golf swing relative to your sternum is too far behind the ball. We get there and stick that in the ground. The second one, if the ball position is correct, we have too much body movement, lateral body movement to the ground that we try and rescue it and we stick it in the ground with our hands. The third one is the swing plane being incorrect. So we send it in here, send it over and stick it in the ground. So I'm gonna give you a really, really simple little exercise here to practice. So we have a tee peg in the floor where the ball is and we've got a tee peg in front of the golf ball. So you've got the, the, the tee peg about two inches in front of that golf ball. That golf ball there is your reference point. Ball position is going to go just slightly left to centre. Weight's going to be even on both feet. We're going to keep those arms nice and relaxed, and we're going to get the butt hit, but hit both the ball and the tee peg. Now, what we can see is where the divot started after the tee peg. The tee peg in the front's disappeared. It's a great shallow contact. Ball's gone dead straight. It'll really improve your strike quality with your long irons and your hybrids. The reason why this drill helps is once you've got the ball position in the right place, it encourages you to swing your arms in the correct plane, move your body in the correct plane, because we've got a reference point. Your brain will self-organize for you to then always, always, always make ball first contact. So don't forget, if there's anything I can help you with in your golf game, please leave it in the comments and we'll do a Sunday fix just for you. See you next Sunday.